So, gotta explain today's nerd day. That's why I look this way. You don't want to think of this as long. All right, so you got first reaction to make alkenes dehydration of an alcohol. And here's what happens you start with an alcohol, like this one. We haven't done alcohol, so I would not expect you to know how to draw it. I'll draw it for you. What happens in dehydration? What are you taking out? Water. Water, yeah. So what happens here is you draw the line, and the dehydrating agent is H2SO4. That's the answer to this question up here. What's a good dehydrating agent? Sulfuric acid. It does not enter into the reaction. It only makes it happen. So don't worry about it. where did the S go? Doesn't matter. It's only there to make it happen. So you're going to rip off the hoe and the H right next to it. So you end up with this plus HOH. Should we know that? You should know. Yeah. What I would do is say, show me the dehydration of that. And then you've got to write the equation for it. So all I did was I took off the hoe, I took off the H right next to it. That's what you're always going to be doing. Take off the hoe and the H on the adjacent carbon. It's like ripping a scab off. I'm going to rip this scab off, and the double bond is the band-aid you're putting on there. Is this making sense? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I was going to ask, when we wrote the H2SO4, I was going to ask, how did you get water away? Um, no, there's one hydrogen here. See, I didn't write all the H's. Um, yeah, there's an H there all the way around. So it's this one and that one. That's really why I write water as HOH, because that's the way it seems to add together and be taken off. Well, I forgot this one. It was hydrogen. Yeah. Now, if you had a cyclic, say you had this little guy, the cyclic alcohol. doesn't matter that you don't know his name is cyclic butanol. You just know that I got that. Show me the dehydration of that. We'll draw an arrow. You get to remember that it's H2SO4, and by the time we have a test, you'll know it. Then you're going to put a double bond in there, and it could be here, or it could be there, it doesn't matter, plus HOH. So all I've done is taken off the hoe and an adjacent hydrogen. You remember there's secret hydrogens? every corner. I took off this one and this one. Wow, when you walk the screen. <laughs> so, O and H came off. How bad is this? I'm hoping it's easy because we got six kinds of reactions and this is number one. This is dehydration. Just remember that one. I'm going to do the other one now. Let's see if that writing goes away. Okay, second reaction is called dehydrohalogenation. Yeah, it's a big word, you have to write that. But the big word means D, I'm taking off hydrogen and a halogen. It's similar to dehydration. I think it's probably, well, I don't know if it's easier, maybe easier. So let's say we got this and we got Br. What I would tell you is, Show me the dehydrohalogenation of one bromopropane. If you remember how to name your alkanes, you'll be fine. If you don't know how to do your alkanes, you're kind of stuck. So, dehydrohalogenation of this. Here's what you do. You draw your arrow. The catalyst for this reaction is always going to be KOH, potassium hydroxide. So, you're going to rip off the halogen and the H right next to it the imaginary age. And you're going to end up with a double bond where that was. Plus, what do you, what's the other product? H and maybe I'm hearing it. HBr. So I just ripped off the bromine, ripped off the H. How come I put the H first instead of the Br? Because in Chem 1, the H has a plus 1 and the Br is a minus and plus goes first, right? Okay, well. <laughs> I know I'm probably going to have to go through this a little bit again tomorrow, but I want to give you a good taste of it today. Let me do one more. Say you got, here's a house. And we're going to put an OH on it. 
Show me the dehydration. Oh, that's not an H. An F on it. Show me the dehydrohalogenation of fluorocyclopentane. What does that mean? What does which mean? What it means is this test is going to be a lot of word problems. And you're going to have to show me or write the equation for the dehydrohalogenation of this guy. It'll take some practice. I know you're not going to get it all of you the first time. The catalyst for this reaction will always be potassium hydroxide, KOH. Ignore that blood clot right there. And then you're going to... Put a double bond, and the other product is HF. You know, at the end you're going to be naming everything too, but right now I just want to do the naked equation without naming anything. Alright, how bad is this? Same as dehydration, only ripping off the halogen. So you just add an H and the double bond? Well, you know, there are secret H's at every corner. There's always CH2. So what I took off was the F and one of these H's. Um, you can write the H's if you want. I got one more to show you and I'm done. Yes. He's filming for YouTube because I have all my lessons on YouTube and I'll tell your class about it too. It's called Kim 2 Pickens. You can find all the lessons for naming this stuff. But they have to be 10 minutes or less so I'm going to hurry. So what's my time right now? Oh, seven minutes. So, okay, I'm going to zip through these. Let's just do this. Okay. What if I start out with something like this? This is the last kind I'm going to do. And I said to you, show me the dehydrohalogenation of, of this, 1,1-dibromoethane. Just watch this one. You know, I can write it later. I've got two halogens. In my mind, I'm thinking two steps. KOH, and then what I'm going to do is rip off one of those pairs plus HF. Okay, I ripped off the top pair. And what I did, my band aid is a double bond, so there we go. Now, the difference here is that I've got another one to come off, so I'm going to go ARA, KOH. Wait, where's the because it's BR. You don't know it's BR? Oh. And now I'm going to have a triple bond here. Plus, if you want to put a 2 in front, you can. That 2 includes the previous HBR. But I made an alkyne. So this is a two-stepper. And it's the hardest one you'll ever have. There won't be any cyclos like this. Am I at 10 yet? Where am I? Eight minutes. Eight minutes. I'm going to do one more just to show you. Then I'm going to quit. Okay, this will be a fast one. Okay, so we got this one. And I got a CL and a CL. And what I might say is that it's treated with excess KOH. That's another way to ask the same question is show the dehydrohalogenation of that. So I got this. I'm going to go new KOH. I'm going to rip off. A pair, either the top or the bottom. Plus, HCl. Then, because I've still got a halogen, I'm going to do it again. K O H. And at the end, what kind of bond am I going to have? Triple. One, two, three. Plus, two HCl. Now, what I'm going to do is, before I run out of time here, don't panic here. I'm going to pop this up here for Cole to get a shot of, and hopefully he can just film this until the 10 minutes. This is what we're going to be practicing. You guys can go ahead and copy it down. I know you probably won't be able to get it all by tomorrow, but get those down. If you're watching on YouTube, try those. And in order to do them, you're going to have to know when to even all this all is this. Alright, how's my time? Don't go over 10. Alright, then I'm pressing.